Hi, Pre-K friends. I wanted to demonstrate an activity known as 10 frames. And you'll hear about that in preschool a little bit and then also um, in kindergarten. And so I learned this fun little trick from my son's kindergarten teacher. So I thought I would model it with our activity today. So using an egg carton, we're just going to cut off the flaps like that. And this would be an activity that would be good for mom and dad to do the cutting just because it's um, a little harder material to cut through. They can certainly help you and assist with that too. So you're just going to cut off the top and the side. And then um, being eggs come in a dozen, we want to cut off um, two on the end. So this part especially is a little bit trickier to cut through. But when we cut this off, we will have a 10 frame. And so you will see um, in your kit that you can pick up on Tuesday, in this packet, you will have a sheet um, of alphabets and numbers and shapes. And these you can leave um, as a sheet. And then I put in the bag a sheet protector. So as you can see, there's dotted lines that you can also practice tracing these letters. And so if you keep them in the sheet protector, there's a marker in there as well. So you can trace over them and then just erase them too. So, um, but as you can see on the side, it's a little hard with the light. There we go. Is you can see the 10 frame. And so if I take my carton like this, and the 10 frame, this is kind of tricky. There you go. Is, um, there, you're going to start with the top all the way over left, just like you're reading. And so to make two in my 10 frame, I would put one and two. And so then I know it's two. So you can use different objects for counting in there as well. Um, if you watched my cap one from the counting activity last week, if you start saving your caps, you'll have a lot of different activities to use these for. So these are just the tops from like the applesauce and yogurt pouches. And um, they're great for counters. And if you can't find game pieces in your game, so they make great ones for that too. So then if I have three, I'm just going to do one, two, and three. So here is another activity that you can do. And then just an easy um, time frame that you can make that you have with it too. All right. Happy math.